Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17 and specifically about iOS 17 beta 5. Now, once Apple released this update and I got my hands into it, I thought that this is just a minor update because we couldn't find a lot of new features and changes, but it looks like Apple has actually added a lot of new features with iOS 17 beta 5. And in this video, I have another 15 new features and changes, some of them very useful that Apple has added to iOS 17 with the fifth beta. So we're going to talk about all that and of course a lot more regarding iOS 17 and what to expect in the near future. Now here's a great feature that Apple has added to iOS 17 with beta 5. This right here is a new feature that allows us to search for sounds within videos and also live photos that you have on your camera roll and it's really interesting. So you can search right here and it will show you the results and you can see that wave icon right there which indicates that it has found that sound in that number of videos or even live pictures. So I searched for laughter, it found 21 videos and also live photos with a laughter on them and it's actually very very accurate now, of course you can search for any sound you want maybe like an applause or a scream or a car horn or anything you can think of and it will actually find them in videos and live pictures as well now this right here just pop up today now this is actually the first time i have been able to actually add a code that i got on an email with the new feature on iOS 17. And this is the pop-up that you get if you don't actually have that set up. So basically this is the feature that will automatically delete your verification codes when you actually use them. And this is what, what it looks like if you don't have it enabled, it will give you the option here to actually enable it from the settings. And it's a very useful feature. Now this is new as well, this pop-up right here, do more with your iCloud. So it's basically a pop-up leading you to the recommendations right here under the iCloud settings. So if you have like low storage on your iCloud account, it will show you this. And of course it will show you all like the different recommendations of what you can do to actually free up some space on your device. And the pop-up is here. Of course you can just remove it and only leave there for the recommendations. Another thing that has been updated here under the iCloud settings is the icon here for sign in and security. You can see that little key right there with that shield. Now it's a new icon and it looks much better. We also have a new icon here under accessibility. If you go here, you will find now a new icon for assistive access. In my opinion, this looks way better than the initial one. And also we have a new icon here for voice control as well. Under the settings of your device on iOS 17 beta 5, if you go under messages and then you go right here where you will have your data. Now you will have another link here, which actually lets you see how your data is managed with iMessage and the new check-in feature. This used to be here. Now it's here. You can just tap at it and it will actually show you all the like the different privacy settings, all the different privacy policies that you need to know regarding the way your data is managed. Moving on here on the home screen, the spotlight has also a new animation. So when you invoke the spotlight search like this, it has a new animation and also the series suggestions will actually fade from the center here, not from the top. It's actually really, really cool. We have also new animations here and the control center on the hearing, if we press and hold here, it will pop up way faster than it did before. It used to have like a fade animation, which was actually quite slow. Another thing here, if we have these active, so let me just turn on some media here. So if you have some media playing, the hearing here, when you tap on it, it has like this like bounce effect, which is actually really, really cool. I think Apple should have made this bounce effect here like default for all the different sections here on the control center. You can see how cool that looks. The animation is much, much better than when you're not listening anything at all. Now, another change which is really interesting here on the control center is the icon for the flashlight actually has been updated. Now it used to be thinner and also like more sharper. Now it's more rounded and it's a bit bolder, which in my opinion goes much, much better with the other icons that we have on the control center. 
When you go to edit one of the posters from your contacts, you will notice that now Apple has fixed the text size right here. Actually, you can now make it really thin. Previously, you had this feature, but it wouldn't go as far as this right here. But now you can, of course, make it really thin how it is supposed to be. And of course, you can also make it as bold as you want. But this now has been fixed with the fifth beta. A few minor changes here on the maps app as well. When you go to our offline maps section, you will see that now we have here a description for optimized storage. And also when you go here to only use offline maps, the text is now right there on that section and it used to be down here. There's also like a rearrangement here as like a small UI update for the wind section on the weather app. Now we have like a line here that separates right here these like two sections and of course this is a bit rearranged here so it looks much cleaner now this actually has been changing with every update mental well-being has some like new images here and ui updates so you will see that right there so just like a minor change there also we have a few other minor changes on the fitness app so if you go to fitness plus right here actually you can see a new icon right there and if you tap on it it now says create stacks so you can go ahead and create stacks from here and we got a new icon right there so these are the new features and changes that apple has added to ios 17 with the fifth beta but what are some of the bugs now some of the bugs that i have been experiencing on my device one of them is the settings app actually crashing quite a lot. I had this happen quite a lot with beta five and the beta one actually was probably the worst. Then it got better. I didn't experience that issue, but with beta five, I had this happen quite a few times. Another thing that I'm noticing with iOS 17 is that the Wi-Fi connection actually drops quite a lot. It's not that strong at all. It drops a lot, constantly it's dropping. And even here in my home where I have a very good Wi-Fi connection and the router is always close to me, it actually drops quite a lot. And another thing that I have been experiencing with iOS 17, and this was on beta four as well, and it's on beta five as well, is that sometimes if I use one of the apps on the landscape mode it will actually stay like that so i get out of that app i go into another one the orientation will stay on the basically on the landscape mode and it won't go into the portrait mode without me having to reboot the device which is really really annoying hopefully apple will fix those with the next few betas so when will the next betas be of course we should expect ios 17 beta 6 next week I would expect it to be on the 22nd or the 23rd. Most likely that will be beta six. And from beta six and on, I would expect Apple to actually move on to a weekly schedule. So from beta six to beta seven, most likely will be just one week. Then we can expect after that week, probably on the fifth year, beta eight of iOS 17. And once that's done, of course, on the 12th, we most likely are getting the RC version after the new iPhone event. So as you might know, everything is pointing towards September 12th being the day that Apple will make basically the, the presentation of the new iPhone 15 series. And that day we should also get the RC version of iOS 17. And then of course the public release most likely of iOS 17 will be September 18th because of course the devices will ship on September 22nd if they present them on the 12th. So we will have to have iOS 17 released before the new iPhones are being shipped. So on the 18th, most likely we will get the new iOS 17 released to the public. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 17 videos and I will see you on the next one.